Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I would share with you guys my personal capsule wardrobe for the fall and winter. Pieces that are just consistently my favorites every single season and I just can't get enough of them. I am constantly grabbing them when I'm getting dressed for the day and really every fall and winter I just can't live without them. They are just part of my staples, my everyday attire and I just, I love them. So I thought I would share with you guys what those pieces are today. So we will start off with clothing, go to accessories, and then finish with shoes. So the first two things are jackets. I feel like everybody needs a solid coat for the fall and winter. I personally am still looking for that everyday puffer, but also not puffer, like quilted coat. I feel like that would definitely be in here if I had that, but Another staple coat for me is a wool coat. I wear it every single year. I got my first wool coat when I lived in New York because I just was underestimating how freezing it was. You know, running through the subway and walking to work and you just walk so much so you just really need a good heavy coat that's going to keep you warm. So my favorite wool coat that I own is probably this vintage one that I got from Shop Vintage Collection. It's your simple black coat. It will go with everything. I have this wool coat and I also have one from Everlane that's in a beautiful camel color. I feel like those are the two I just need. A camel and a black. And those are the two colors that will just constantly go with anything I wear because I wear mostly neutral colors. So this one is just a staple. It's such a simple silhouette. So no matter what I have on, this will work. And I just can't live without this. I got this last winter and I wore this non-stop every time I left the house this was on because it just kept me so warm another coat staple is a trench coat I think those are so good especially your transitional coat for more of the fall warmer days before it gets into the really cold weather where you would grab your wool coat I think a trench coat is perfect for me personally right now, my favorite is this new one that I just recently got. This new beige suede one is absolutely beautiful. I cannot get enough of it. I am just wearing this nonstop with any outfit, whether that be leggings, joggers, or a nice outfit for the day. I have this coat on. It's the perfect weight. It's not too warm, but it's also the perfect like weight that it's going to keep me a little bit warm when we're kind of still in that phase. We're surprisingly kind of still, or personally where I live, we're still in that phase where sometimes it's warm out when the sun's out, and then when the sun goes down, it's obviously a lot colder, but I can get away with still wearing this and honestly being a little bit warm in this. So those two are my favorite coats. My ride or die, I am constantly wearing them the fall and winter season. Moving on to denim jeans. I feel like having a dark pair of denim jeans for your fall and winter collection is a must. I get so excited to pull out my darker denim. I've been really into my black darker denim jeans recently from Levi's. These are probably my most worn jeans at the minute. I'm just loving the black color. I'm loving styling this. I just think it looks so good with everything. I'm loving the black and the beige moment. So these are from Levi's. These are really old, but I'll try to link a similar one down below. I think they're very similar to the 501 style, like this just original 501 cut. I think these are similar to that, so I'll link those. But darker black denim is just really... I don't know, I'm really loving this season in particular, but every season, I just love a good darker denim. And then I also have my beloved Kate jeans that I just love every fall and winter season. It just feels so fall. I love wearing it with my, you know, more chocolate brown coats and just darker coats in general. I just think it looks really good, very fall, giving just the fall vibes all around. And I just love these. They fit so well. They're the Daniela jeans. I don't think this colorway is still available, but they have so many different colorways in the Daniela jeans, and they're just so good. If you want a cheaper alternative, I've recently tried on the Madewell 90 style. Would suggest, like I said in my vlog, if you haven't watched that, going in to try them on because I was a different size in every single wash. But when you find the right size, they are really great jeans, similar to the fit 
and the cut of the Daniela jeans for a more affordable price. Another pair of jeans that, where did they go? Hold on one second, I'm missing one pair. My last favorite pair of denim jeans are these cream pairs. I don't know why I love wearing cream denim in the fall and winter. I love wearing it all season long, but I just think this looks really good with a wool black coat or your darker colorways like your chocolate browns and your navies, and I just love cream with any of that. So these are the ones from Still Here, my lovely Still Here jeans. I talk about them nonstop. Such a good fit. They are an investment, but I think personally they're worth it. They're a really nice pair of jeans that will just kind of wear with you over time. I have on the blue denim ones right now. These are the childhood style. Both of these are childhood, just in a different wash. I just love these, and I just love the bone color. It's called bone, but it's more of like an off-white cream. So those are probably my most worn jeans at the minute. I have been kind of staying away from these right now and kind of more so my black and the cream and the Kate ones because I'm just loving that darker denim plus the cream. Cream just is my favorite so I just can't stop wearing them. Moving on to button downs. I wear button downs all season long. They're a part of my like, if there was like a big picture capsule wardrobe for just like all seasons combined button downs would be in that i just love button downs i wear them all the time as you can see in a different material different colors just button downs are such a staple when within my wardrobe you can wear them so many different ways you can style them so many different ways so right now my two favorites are this blue button down that I actually got thrifted in California at this random place I came across for $7. And I love how this one's a little bit more form-fitted than my other ones. The blue color is absolutely stunning. I love wearing this with actually my black jeans. I love this blue with black at the minute. I just think this is such a good holiday, you know, fall, winter color. And then just my white Durf Avenue one. This is just a staple. I wear this all season long. It's just my favorite. I love the fit of this. If you really want to invest in a good button down, I highly recommend the Durf Avenue ones because of the thickness. It's not see-through. It has a really nice weight. I think it lays really nicely on your body and I just can't get enough of them to be honest. I just love the Durf Avenue button downs. I have them in probably almost every single color at this point. That's the neutral color palette. Moving on is just my tees. I feel like, again, big picture here, these would be a part of my capsule wardrobe for all seasons. You need some good basic tees in your wardrobe. I just think you are constantly grabbing them. I'm constantly wearing them by itself, under stuff, underneath button downs. They're just a must. I have my cream color or white and my black, I just love these. These are actually both from Monbo, but I really like Everlane. Also has a good tee, and they're both reasonable price point, so I highly recommend them. But yeah, tees are just a must. And then to go along with tees, simple tanks as well. They're part of my overarching capsule wardrobe. I just love a good tank. This one's the Everyday Tank from Durf Avenue. But any tank creams, all colorways, I just you just can't get enough of them. You are constantly wearing them. I personally suggest investing in not like a super expensive white tee, but a decently priced because it's gonna live a lot longer than a very inexpensive cheap tee. Personally, I feel like they just wear better and through washing, they just constantly like just stand, stay the way it's supposed to be a lot longer than other tees so I personally like investing in some good tees but you don't have to there's obviously so many white tees out there for a really affordable price point but I I really I'm like obsessed with these another favorite and this is actually a new favorite of mine this year specifically is a turtleneck sweater I have just been living in this turtleneck sweater specifically and it's making me want to get a couple more this one's from Alamina Concept. I love the beige color. I love how it's a little bit oversized, but not too oversized. It lays really nicely. I've been wearing this so much with my black denim jeans and this suede coat. I think it just looks so good together. But also in regards to this, just 
a oversized kind of chunky knit sweater is such a staple for the fall and winter it doesn't have to be a turtleneck if you are just not you just don't like having things around your neck I totally get that I was like that for the longest time but I like how this kind of sits a little bit droopy on my neck so it doesn't feel like it's like choking me which I feel like a lot of turtlenecks can feel like that and that's where people don't really like them obviously um, but this one's a really good one but just a chunky knit sweater I feel like is a really nice staple piece for your fall and winter wardrobe I feel like you're constantly grabbing that whether you're layering it throwing it over your shoulders wearing it with joggers to elevate your outfit it's just it's just a staple and you'll wear it all the time another sweater of mine is a little crew neck cashmere sweater this one's from everlane i think everlane has really nice cashmere sweaters uniqlo also has really nice cashmere sweaters uh everlane i'm mean, this is everlane reformation has some you can pretty much find them anywhere j crew anywhere pretty much but i love this one i have two this one has a little bit of a thicker band at the neckline but i also have one that's really a thin band but this I am just always grabbing, throwing it over my shoulders, bringing as an extra layering piece. I love how like thin it is, but it's still keeping you really warm with that cashmere material. It's just a must for me. I wear this nonstop. I got this like a few years ago and every season, this is probably my most worn sweater just how, because of how versatile it is with any outfit that I have on. I just, I just love it. Another staple knit for me is just a cardigan. This one's from Jenny Kane, and this is just a really good one. It's definitely an investment. It is a higher price point, but it's just so cozy. I wear this with joggers. I wear this with an outfit. It's just so nice, especially on those days where you just aren't feeling the best or don't feel like getting ready. You can just throw this on. It's oversized. It feels like you are in a blanket and have a pair of jeans on walk out the door and you're good to go so this is just a staple of mine personally but any oversized cardigan would do like the oversized turtleneck any oversized knitwear i just love to have in my closet for the fall and winter and then in regards to a cardigan again i love to have a thinner cardigan as well just for layering purposes this i got last year and I have been loving this. This is from H&M, really good price point, really soft material, but I love how I can wear it different ways. I can open it up, I can close it, I can do half button. There's just so many different options for this and it's such a good one. I love wearing a white tank underneath of it or a white tee with jeans, a belt, boots, and you're good to go, wool coat, walk out the door. I just love it. I think it's such a good piece, such a staple to have in your wardrobe. Moving on, a blazer. I mean, if you have been following me for a while, you're probably not shocked. A blazer is such a piece of my uniform. I am living constantly in a blazer. This is a new favorite blazer of mine that I thrifted at Goodwill. I just love it. It's like almost like a brown with black. It's just a really nice fall winter blazer with the colors in it. I just am obsessed with it. This with jeans, white tee, you're good to go. I just, I, I need a blazer in my life. I need a blazer in my wardrobe. It is just such a staple. I'm constantly grabbing them. When I worked at Free People, this is what I wore nine out of the 10 times to work because it was just so nice to have an extra layer. If it got a little colder in the store or I can take it off, I just always feel like I'm professional, always feel confident in a blazer, always feel put together. So a blazer is definitely a part of my overall castle wardrobe, but specifically in the fall and winter. My last clothing piece for fall and winter, and you're probably shocked that I don't have a pair of trousers. I feel like that is included in a lot of people's castle wardrobes. Personally, I'm a jeans girl. I, yes, I wear trousers here and there, but I, eight out of the ten times would be putting on a pair of jeans i just feel most confident and comfortable in a pair of jeans i can wear jeans for work i work from home or if i'm out and about i can still wear jeans so i personally 
just put jeans in my castle wardrobe because I don't wear trousers as much that I feel like they need to be put in here and I could live off jeans. So that's why I didn't include trousers, but yes, trousers are always a nice piece to have, especially if you have a more work, you need that for work or something, or you have a different kind of dress code. Trousers, yes, such a good staple to have in your wardrobe, such a nice piece to instantly dress up an outfit, but personally, I'm a jeans girl and I just love to wear a pair of jeans rather than trousers. If I could choose, it would be jeans all the time. My last piece though is a pair of nice elevated joggers. I just think having a good quality pair of joggers that are nice looking, you can run out and run errands but you still feel put together even though you're in a pair of sweatpants. These are from Jenny Kane and I just love these. They're in a beautiful cream color. They fit really well. They're really nice. Like they're not like too oversized where they look too baggy that you borrowed it from your like boyfriend. They are a really nice classic fit and you look sophisticated in them as much as you can in a pair of joggers. So I just really like having these in my closet. I feel good like putting this on with like my wool coat and an oversized knit like this, tee, and I walk out the door. I feel put together even though I'm in my pajamas basically. So I just feel like a pair of nice looking joggers is such a staple within my wardrobe ex specifically and especially for the fall and winter. Moving on to accessories, my first staple accessory, accessory is a black scarf or any kind of scarf. I just think scarves are such a good accessory for the fall and winter. Obviously it's going to keep your neck warm but this one's more of like a blanket scarf it's like huge which I love because I can use it as a wrap like just to wrap around um, if I get a little cold or I can use it more as like a scarf there's just so many different options with this which is why I like this one in particular so if I were to get a scarf I personally would get a like a bigger one than a thinner scarf just because I feel like you'll get more wear out of it and use it more because of how versatile it can use. I love bringing this to like the Ravens games when I go because I can use it as a blanket especially as it's getting like colder. I'm going to the game. Uh, we have a Thursday night game this week and it's at night obviously Thursday night <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be bringing that to just wrap around me and use it as a blanket because it's going to be so cold. So just having like a big oversized scarf, I just feel like it's such a good piece to have for your fall and winter season, but more importantly for winter, because obviously fall, I don't really wear that as much, but when the winter hits, that is a go-to and is always coming with me every time I leave the house. Another staple for me is just a simple black bag. This is my everyday black bag. It is from The Real Real. I just got it. It's from Furla. And I just think having a simple black bag that will literally go with everything, it doesn't have to be black. If you wear more things that go with brown, brown, or cream, cream, or blue, or any color that fits your wardrobe best that you can wear the most, I feel like it's such a good piece to have. I personally just wear everything goes with this in my wardrobe, so that's why I really like this black. I love the size of it, it's perfect. I love the like little shoulder bag and this can also be used as a clutch which also just makes it another great piece to have. It's like a two in one so yeah just a nice everyday bag is such a staple for all seasons to be honest. And then another staple of mine is just nice belts that are just simple like this brown belt that I have on. This is definitely probably included in this but I felt like wearing it today. But again, my black belt as well. This one's from below the belt. I talked about it so much. This is such a good one. I have this one on my gift guides that I've done. That is always linked below in all my videos if you want to check them out. But this is such a good belt. Whether you're a silver or a gold girl, they have the same belt in silver version. But yeah, I wear this all the time. And then this is the one I got from Naked. Just a simple black belt with a silver buckle. And then this one's a simple brown belt with a gold or silver buckle. It's kind of a brass color. So just a simple belt I feel like is such a necessity in somebody's wardrobe. 
Belts are such a good way to accessorize an outfit, to make a very simple minimalist outfit to kind of stand out or kind of complete it is adding a good belt. So that's why personally belts are so such a must in my wardrobe because my, my style and my outfits are very minimal and simple. Having a belt on just makes me feel complete and like that I have a full head to toe outfit on. So those are my accessories. Now on to shoes. I have a few shoes actually that are kind of staples for me that I'm constantly wearing every single year. The first pair, which are probably my ride or die, my most worn shoes in my closet, which are my Jack Irwin boots. If you saw my vlog recently, I actually just ripped out the black little thing at the back of the boot which I'm really upset about but I didn't ruin it so it's fine I can still wear them but having an everyday black boot I feel like is such a good staple and a good idea to invest in in your wardrobe I wear these non-stop I think when I worked at Free People I wore them every single day pretty much it's just such a good boot these are so comfortable I love my Jack Irwin boots I highly recommend this is the Robbie style I almost want to get the same pair again because I've as you can tell I have worn them to pieces this just shows how much I wear them in my wardrobe or every single day with how worn they are on the bottom but they're just so comfy I love them my second staples are these pointed boots these little kitten here boots with the pointed toe i just feel like these are so good for if you want a more elevated outfit the other ones are definitely a more casual vibe but these if i'm going out at night or going to dinner or getting drinks or something like that these are the kind of boots that i go for just with the pointed kitten heel it just adds a little bit extra and makes me feel more elevated dressier than the Jack Irwin ones, which are definitely more of a casual shoe. So these are always nice to have. It's nice to have a little kitten heel boot or just a fancier looking boot than more so an everyday boot like the ones I just showed you. Another staple of mine are a pair of loafers. I love wearing loafers with jeans in the winter and the fall. I just think these are good with a pair of socks. I just love a pair of loafers, honestly. They just really work. They're a nice alternative shoe for like the work week than a pair of boots. I feel like these are just really nice to have. I love them with my button downs. I just wear these nonstop. I got these at the vintage store Mirth in New York when I went. Love that vintage store. If you live in New York or if you're going to New York, it's in Brooklyn and highly recommend going there. But yeah, a pair of loafers is just such a nice shoe to have in your wardrobe. The next pair of shoes that are such a staple that I love to have in my wardrobe for the fall and winter are a pair of more taller boots. These are from The Real Real. I got these for Christmas last year and I lived in them after Christmas when I got them. I love having a pair of taller boots with skirts, even with jeans, like tucking in jeans or wearing them under jeans if my jeans are a little bit baggier. I just, I'm obsessed with these and I'm so happy to have them in my wardrobe. And I just, I just love them. I want a pair of black ones. I think those are also a staple in somebody's wardrobe for the fall and winter. Black, like taller boots. I just think you can always benefit for having a taller boot. Like a short boot, taller boot, you're good to go. So love those. And then the last pair of shoes that I would consider part of my staple and my capsule wardrobe for the fall and winter are just a pair of Burks. Honestly, I got them last summer and I didn't realize how much I would wear these. These are just so great to wear with your joggers, running errands, you know, with your jeans. I just wear them all the time and I just didn't think I was going to. I really wanted them. I actually got them from my boyfriend for, uh, for my birthday, but I just didn't realize how much use I was going to get out of them and they're just such a good staple to have in your wardrobe for just sliding something on. I love to wear them with socks. They just go with so much more than I thought. So yeah, just love those. These are definitely a part of my capsule wardrobe for the fall and the winter. But that's everything. That's everything that I pretty much live in when it comes to the fall and winter season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope maybe this gave you some ideas if you're missing something that you may have not have thought of for your wardrobe. 
I'll have everything linked down below. So I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.